Welcome back to Learn It Easy. Today the topic is going to be the domains of life. So before we get to the topic of domains of life, let's see what are the kinds of cell. So cells are into two kinds. That is prokaryote and eukaryote. If we know what is the difference between prokaryote and eukaryote, it will help us to understand the domains of life. So let's see what is prokaryote and eukaryote. There are two kinds of cell called prokaryote and eukaryote. Now let's see the difference. It will help us to understand easily. The prokaryote is unicellular organism while the eukaryote is a multicellular organism. The prokaryote does not have nucleus, but the eukaryote has a nucleus. The DNA in prokaryote floats freely in the cell, but the DNA inside the chromosomes of the nucleus in the eukaryote. The prokaryote is of asexual reproduction, while the eukaryote is of a sexual reproduction. The prokaryote is shaped like balls, sticks, or spirals. All prokaryotes belong to archaea and bacteria. Now, let's see the three domains of organisms. The domains are of three kinds, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. So let's see each and everything in detail. The archaea, for example, the kingdom belongs to archaea bacteria. The domains of microscopic organisms that live in extreme environments like the polar ice caps and hot springs. So these microscopic organisms live in extreme environments. So, and this is called extremophilus or extremophilus. So let's see the characteristics of archaea. They are microscopic, they are unicellular, they are prokaryotic, lack of nucleus, they are extremophilus, that is, lives in extreme environments. They are shaped like sticks, balls, triangles, and squares. They almost share the characteristics of the prokaryote. And the bacteria. For example, they belong to the kingdom, eubacteria. The domains of unicellular organism. The characteristics of bacteria are that it is microscopic, it is unicellular, it is prokaryotic, and lack of nucleus, and lives all over the world except extreme environments. Whereas the archaea lives in the extreme environment but bacteria does not live in the extreme environment. It's shaped like sticks, balls, and spirals. There are a lot of similarities between the archaea and bacteria other than that they don't live in the extreme environment. And bacteria, they obtain energy through photosynthesis and respiration. As you all know, there are some bacteria that are beneficial and they help to maintain the ecosystem. But there are some bacteria that are really bad and they are called pathogens. Why bad? It's because these bacteria, they cause some disease and infections in the organism. The picture shows the bad and the good bacteria. Looks cute. Eukarya. The eukarya is a domain of organisms that have eukaryotic cells. The kingdom Animalia belongs to the domain eukarya. They are microscopic and unicellular, and they are large enough to see with naked eyes. Confused? They are mostly multicellular, but some of them are unicellular and microscopic. There are four kingdoms under the domain eukarya. The animal kingdom, plant kingdom, fungi kingdom and the protist kingdom. The largest is the animal kingdom. 
The animals are multicellular and range in size. And the second largest is the plant kingdom. The plants are multicellular as well, and most of them make their own food, and they also range in size. What do I mean by range in size? Which means the animals and plants, they range from small size to a very big size, like it can be a small mice or it can be a big elephant or it can be a small tiny plant or a big tree. The fungi kingdom includes mushroom, yeast, molds and mild use. They are multicellular or unicellular. So some of these plants, they look like plants, the fungi. Normally we say that, oh yeah, mushroom is a plant, but it's not a plant because they cannot produce their own food. The next kingdom is the protist kingdom. The protist kingdom includes all of the microscopic unicellular organisms that are not a member of archaea or bacteria. So they include all the multi microscopic and macroscopic organisms such as amoeba, titans, algae and seaweeds. So all the archaea and bacteria belongs to the prokaryote cell and eukarya belongs to the eukaryote cell. I hope it's clear. Now let's move on to the vocabulary. Vocabulary, prokaryote, eukaryote, archaea, bacteria, eukarya, and pathogens. I hope it was easy for you all to understand. Please subscribe and like to my channel and do share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.